Ah, bulgogi? Yeah. Odi, odi. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. It's me, Pablo, Pablo. Mani mogu, mani mogu. Hello, I'm Gohan Bay for Gold TV, and today I'm joined by a K League player who is here to talk about K League as well as his time in Korea. Today's guest is Jeonnam Dragons, Croatian maestro, Bedran Yugovic. Thank you, nice to meet you. Come, <laughs> Mila. Did you get a chance to learn Korean, maybe even a little bit? Uh, I learned. Uh some basic words, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, I had lessons mm -hmm. with one uh, Korean teacher and uh, I know now I know how to read everything. Mm -hmm. I can read everything, but uh, many words I don't understand, you know, mm -hmm. so vocabulary is a problem because I know some some words, but mm -hmm. I can read on Korean everything. Like. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. Are there any favorite dishes? Yeah, my favorite is uh, Gwangyang uh, bulgogi. Bul bulgogi is really good. Uh, I like uh, kimchi chige, mm -hmm. very good. And uh, the bibimbap is very good also. Mm -hmm. Many things I really like. Uh, and especially this part is famous by seafood. And uh, in Croatia I also like uh, seafood, so I don't have problems with uh, food here. Let's assume your friends come here, they don't know anything about Korea. What would you recommend them in this area? I'm here three years, so every year mm -hmm. some of my friends uh, was here, you know, they mm -hmm. came to visit. First thing I really like is uh, Suncheon Bay Garden. It's a really nice place to spend, you can spend all day because it's big uh, mm -hmm. and uh, you have some lake, you have many flowers, trees, it's a really nice part. This is a coffee shop of uh, one of the players in club. Uh, his wife is owner and uh, he recommended. I came first time and I really loved it because uh, they have this uh, Julius Mile coffee. It's like a more European style, mm -hmm. style of coffee and uh, they have some, I don't know, some special vanilla latte because I like the most uh, here, you know, this place. So. I really like the atmosphere here and it's nice. Before with Tommy who played with me also and uh, with Fetchesheen, we were like every day we don't need to text message, we know we are here so uh, we just came and hang out and drink coffee. Honestly I was never thinking that I would play in Kelly because in Europe we don't look so many on this side, you know, on, in Asia. But uh, in that moment I was already three years in my club. You know, in Croatia, uh, I was playing eight years, five, five years for my club from my hometown, also professionally, first division, and I played three years in Rijeka. I had over the 200 matches professionally in first division, so I wanted a new challenge. I want to go somewhere else, you know. And in that moment, I got an offer from John and Dragons, and uh, it, it it sounds in interesting, you know, something totally different. And uh, Porsche was already here. Steva was already here. I called them. I asked them about K League, about, about uh, Korea, about living lifestyle, everything. They say all the best. So I decide, okay, I will go because uh, first I had a uh, one year loan from me. So I decided, okay, I go one year to see what happened. If I like, I will stay. And uh, first year was really good. We finished fifth. Uh, that was the biggest result of Chonan Dragons. So we play really good. I make some really good friendship. And uh, I liked the life here, everything. So I decided to stay. And I signed a new contract for three years. So now I'm here already more than two and a half years. Mm, yeah, because in uh, in Korea, I think number one is baseball. Many pe uh, many people going watch baseball and uh, soccer is not yet on that level here. But uh, it's the same in Croatia. We have really great fans, but uh, fans who are cheering for national team. But if we look the the clubs, we have only maybe three or four clubs with uh, some groups of fans and also the average of uh, attendance is maybe same like four or five thousand people maybe less maybe less but we have a uh, smaller stadiums 
So in Korea, when you have stadium who can receive maybe 60,000 people and there is only 3,000, 5,000 people, that looks very bad, you know, yeah. it, it looks empty. So, but I hope uh, like this will develop, develop with some time, this fan culture. So I hope the more, more and more fans will come to watch uh, soccer because I think they have, they have something to see in mm -hmm. K-League. Yeah, I scored a thousand goal for uh, in Chonam Dragons history, so I'm really glad about this because this is lucky thing, you know, uh, because I didn't score like a lot of goals and this goal was thousand, so this made a history and I will be that part of the history because also a coincidence that uh, I scored uh, 900 goal in my first year 2016 so this, this also is uh, on the wall you know because they write uh, like 100 200 so 900 you go with you 1000 you go with you that's that's a nice thing you know like uh, if not football maybe i would be teacher i like children i really i love children so no no teacher for university or uh, teacher for uh, or kindergarten you know or, uh, I, yeah elementary school i really like, love children so maybe maybe that in some really crucial matches like uh, against sevilla fan or the standard league in uh, europe league i was the captain so that was really a, an honor for me fans there really appreciate that and they they really loved me and uh, I wasn't the best player, you know, of the team. But I was always giving 100%. In that time, in Croatia, that was like the, the best part of my career. I think it's, it's important for players to spend some time with fans and because they are cheering all the time and even they are going away games. It's not easy, you know, they spend their own money uh, and cheer even when it's bad. I have a really good relationship with fans. Chonam Dragons don't have so many fans, so maybe it's more easier because you need to, if you play for, I don't know, for example, Suwon, it's, it's hard to pick just five and take them for dinner or something because the other ones will be, you know, jealous or something. But here, there is no many fans, but uh, they are really perfect, they are really good. Uh, I have, for example, one family who living on Yosu. We went so many times on dinner, they even buy me some presents for a birthday and they have two boys, two children. Uh, I bring them uh, jerseys of Modric before World Cup and after World Cup Modric is, was the best player uh, so they are really happy and uh, we hang out sometimes going for dinner they are really nice people oh very good Chincha Choa very good <laughs> I want to thank uh, all people who are watching this and uh, this is a really great show thank you once again for cheering for us and uh, all Chonam Dragons fans I really appreciate the time you are giving for us, so we will fight until the end. And I can promise that, that we will give everything, so I hope we will stay in first division. And thank you one, once again. Goal TV, Choayo, Kudok, Mani Mani. Woo!